Hey, what's going on? This is Steven. We're here with Vincent Irizarry. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Great. So um, we're just following up here. You're, you're, are you originally from L.A. or are you from New York? No, I'm actually from New York. I was born in New York City. and um, Yeah, but I've lived in Los Angeles many times over the years. I have two daughters that were born in this city. So, yeah. And how does it feel to be on the West Coast versus uh, the hard, cold streets of New York? Well, when you put it like that, especially during the cold period of uh, the Northeast New, New York winters, it's nice to be here. Um, I, I, it's, for me, it's tough because I'm commuting. I'm still living back east, and I'm working here. I have my family, my wife, my wife and kids there, so that's the hard part because I, I go back and forth to see them, and maybe one of these days soon we'll all be on the same coast. Definitely, and we, we, we do want to say congratulations for your supporting Emmy. Oh, well, thank uh, you. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite a, that's quite an honor to be nominated, let alone win, so congrats. And we want to know a little bit more um, as far as your character deep down inside obviously does a few irrational things, maybe from spectators, but you need to find, you need to find the good within your character, correct? Well, there is good in my character, and every once in a while it, does, it just breaks through. Um, it's, and it does it with certain people that he has a true um, heart for, a true affection for. Um, there are those, his children, that he loves and adores. But he, his love, David's love, can be very suffocating. And it's, sometimes it's that love that becomes a weapon against them, unfortunately. Um, so he can be his worst enemy. But where the people in the town that he, that he doesn't like, I don't think the good side of his nature is ever going to come out with those people. He's, he sees it as his sort of his mission to hold a mirror up to these people and so that they can see the not so good people of Pine Valley that their own hypocrisy. They're not, they're not a far cry from him. So. Yeah, and it's interesting to see you here. Obviously, you seem like a very genuine and loving guy. So it seems like a lot of these actions do stem from it is love and that over development of love. And it, what about kid? What about kidnapping someone? I mean, that's that must be an immense love for someone wanting to possess them. It depends. I, I don't remember who you're talking about kidnapping. Um, I mean, I I didn't kidnap Greenlee. I was shielding her and protecting her. It, no, I wasn't. You would see that her her friends rode her off the road, and then they lied about doing so. And, he felt that he needed to protect her from them, and she was on the brink of dying. So, um, but yeah, I think the thing is with David is that he, his life has been he's so damaged. His past is is really terrible. His father committed suicide, put a gun to his head, and blew his brains out while he was watching through a crack door. His mother can, talked him into doing that. Um, his father bled out in his arms, and you know, so that really left a, a, a scar that's irreparable, frankly. Uh, and it's not David's fault. It's not his fault. He's trying. He's trying to find. That's one thing that wasn't his fault. Um, he's trying. He's really, really is trying to find peace within himself and a true love somewhere. You know, to find what it feels like to be a, a healthy relationship and a healthy family somewhere. Okay, and one just to wrap it up. Describe David in one word. Oh, complex. Complex. Well, it's about to get complex here on the set of All My Children. Thank you so much. Thank you.